Gaffer, a couple of days on from Derby then, how happy were you with that performance in the end? Very happy to, to get our first win at home in front of our own fans. Um, I think we looked solid and created some good chances. So overall, I think it was a, a really professional performance. Scott, o Scott Hogan opened the scoring. That's three and six for him. How good is it to see him firing and playing football with a smile on his face as well? Yeah, I just had a chat with him after training there and said, how do you feel? And he says he feels the fits he's felt in years and he's in a good place. Um, he said he felt he could have maybe had a couple more goals, but the most important thing is that he keeps getting in the right positions and then he'll score. And I, I've, I've said that on a number of occasions now. So, but yeah, I think um, it's important that when we get chances, our strikers are in the right places to, to take them and yeah. Scott is definitely doing that. Clean sheet as well, how much praise must go to not just the back line but also Matty Sarkic as well who's really been thrown in at the deep end, how impressed are, have you been with him? Yeah Matty's been very good, um, obviously pre-season you could bring a new player in and everybody judges someone and, and rightly so but sometimes people take a bit of time to adjust and adapt. I have to say Andy Marshall has done a great job with him, working hard with him every day and, and improving him and that, that's, that's his job. So that's why I brought him here because he's, he's good at that and uh, so yeah but I'm pleased with Matty because with the pre-season games he could have easily have gone the other way and young lad but I think he's, he's stepped up and, and, and really helped us out. Yeah, good to have Neil Etheridge around him as well, teaching him a few things as well. Um, it's a competitive group in that department at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, we've got, we've got good players, whether we're goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders, attackers. Like we've, we've got a good squad that we've put together. So, competition for places, everybody pushing each other and that brings out the best of everyone because they know if they don't produce their best and keep to that level, then someone else will come in and take their place. On to Wednesday against Fulham and I suspect a really good opportunity for this group to really test themselves against one of the league's best. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Obviously Fulham just come down, very, very good side, good squad, strength and depth is, is, is frightening really. Uh, but it's, we're at home, they have strengths, they have weaknesses, the same as every team. And, we're at home and we'll have our own fans behind us trying to help us get them three points and I know the players will go out there and, and, and try their hardest and, and give everything so when you've got a group like that that, that give you everything every time they step onto the pitch then you've always got a chance in a game. What will you expect from Fulham? We've seen them once already at home at St Andrews in the Cup, much changed I suppose, what will you expect from them this time around? Uh, similar, they, they move the ball well. All their players are confident in, in taking the ball and, and, and playing and obviously in the, their front five, if you like, are very good and, and they can punish you. So on um, the weekend they created a lot of chances the weekend against Blackpool but their shooting boots weren't on. So um, hopefully that's the same on on uh, Wednesday. So, But they, they've got good quality, especially in the final third. Is it the sort of game that our lads can play with a little bit of freedom? knowing that Fulham might be the favourites on paper. They're games that we often perform well in, aren't they? Yeah, but I like to think that no matter what team we step out against, we're, we're going to try and win. And, and, and there's that group in there. They won't be fearing Fulham. They'll respect them because every team you play against, whether it's Fulham or if it's a team at the bottom of the division, you have to respect them. And, and we will respect them. But the most important thing is that we don't forget what we're good at as well. And, and then... We've got to make it as difficult as, as we possibly can for, for Fulham to, to leave with any points. Well done, the fans. We had them uh, back over the weekend, which was great. How much of an impact can they make in games like this on, on Wednesday night? Massive impact because, like, an extra 5,000 people was a lot of people, and, and, and you could tell with the, with the noise, you know. Um, it was great. It was great for me. and see everybody happy and celebrating after the game especially and the, the, the players and the fans having that connection that the respect for each other and appreciation for each other and so um yeah it was it was great to see them all back in and lastly on the squad any injuries to report early on this week or not 
no, all good. All good. Obviously, he ran with his with his stomach, but apart from that, where, as we as we were.